welcome back to Life Skills with Sarah. As we head back to school, I thought it would be important for us to go over the safety of how to ride our wheels. To stay safe, we must always wear our helmet. What I was taught is something that you can learn and it's called a 2v1. So once you've done your helmet up, making sure you clip it underneath your chin, making sure it's sitting nice and firm on your head at the front and make sure you've got it facing the right way and then do your 2v1. So it's two fingers above your eyebrows. You want it to be a V below your ears and then you also want to be able to fit one finger underneath your helmet, helmet strap so it stays nice and firm and doesn't choke you. Today I'm going to be showing you the safety of riding your own bike. This is my bike. So what you want to do is actually make sure the bike is the right size for you. You want to be able to be able to touch the ground just a little bit like that. And if, you, if the bike's too big, you actually can get really wobbly on it and lose control. What we also want to do is check for our ABCs. So A stands for checking for the ear and our tyres. Mine's nice and firm, but if not, you can either get a parent or guardian to help pump up your tyres. Uh, B, we want to check the brakes. So my bike here has the brakes on the handlebars, so make sure they're working. And also your brakes can be backwards on your bike. And then the, the third one, C, is checking your chain. So making sure your chain is all attached on your bike. And then you've done your ABCs. Now that we've checked all the safety of our bike, making sure that our ABCs are done, it fits us properly, and we've got our helmet nice and fitted, we need to make sure that we wear bright clothing. So today I've got my fluoro vest to wear. You can either just wear, my jacket's pretty bright as well, wear a bright t-shirt you've got, or yeah, fluoro vest. And also, before hopping on our bike, we need to make sure that we've got the appropriate footwear on. So I've got my sneakers, and sometimes shoelaces can get caught in the chain. So making sure you tuck in, oh, tuck in your shoelaces, like so, and making sure you've got pants on or something on your bottom that doesn't get caught in your chain. It is never good to ride home in the dark, but sometimes it just gets dark too fast and you do get stuck in the dark. But remember that you need to make sure you've got reflective clothing on. So this is reflective here and that you've got lights on your bike. It's good to have a light in the front, a flashing light preferably, um, lights on your wheels and also a reflective light at the back. And mine's red, which is what you should have. If you're under the age of 10, you should stick to riding on the footpath but making sure you keep an eye out for any cars backing out of the driveway. That is very important. And you also need to remember to share the footpath because other people will be walking on the footpath and there might be other, other kids with their scooters or bikes on the footpath as well. When biking, we need to make sure that we're checking for potholes, cracks in the road, checking for leaves, puddles. You need to keep your eyes open. It is very important. If you're riding on the street, so if you're older than 10 years old, you need to make sure that you stick to the left hand side and go with the flow of traffic. And you also want to make sure that you're biking in a straight line and not weaving in and out of cars. As you can see, there's a driveway coming up, so you need to make sure that you stop, look both ways, check to make sure that there is no cars coming, and then once it's clear, you can carry on biking. got a bell or a horn on your bike it's really handy to let people know that you're coming around the corner when biking into an area where you can't see like this Whoop. remember if you're biking on the road keep to the far left and still making sure that you keep an eye out for the driveway It's cracks in the footpath like this that we need to watch out for. We also need to make sure that we follow the road rules, making sure we look both ways before crossing the road. When you're coming to an intersection, getting off your bike and crossing if you think it's safer. 
are obeying the traffic light rules, obeying the stop sign rules, the give way rules, and most importantly, keep in a straight line and watch out for those cars coming out of the driveway. You need to be seen to stay safe and keep your eyes open while riding your wheels. Remember, stay safe on our roads out there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for more Youth Town Connect videos.